just one of many gates we'll be passing through today. This is Jamin. As luck would have it, he's in one of his favourite places. This is Hillary. Her luck may have just run out. But today, they're hiking the Cotswolds and feeling luckier than ever. We are spending the day exploring the Cotswolds and we're starting out here at Stow on the Wold. Very excited to go around today, see all the sights of the Cotswolds and excited to take you with us. St. Edward's Church here in Stone the Wald. And it is so charming. It's got this fabulous door here with trees on either side of it. Really, really charming little place. This is one of many gates we'll be passing through today. Might be a long day, mates. We're on our hike in the Cotswolds and we're leaving Stow on the Wold. We're actually gonna go down through Upper and Lower Slaughter and then into Burton on the Water. And it's gonna be about a four mile hike and we'll see what we do from there. It'll be across a lot of country that looks just like this. So one of the really cool things about the Cotswolds and this part of England is that um, people leave footpaths through their property. So the path that we're taking is actually through property and right now in the middle of uh, a little horse farm, which oh you can gosh. see uh, right behind us. There's some horses hanging out and stuff. So, so we're just headed through the middle of a pasture because that's how it works. It's, it's pretty cool. It's so crazy. I can't imagine doing allowing this in America. If yeah. somebody walked through my yard in the US, I'd be like, excuse me? <laughs> it would feel really strange, yeah. Yeah, it's so cool though, and it's so friendly, and people are very trustworthy of each other, and I really like that. <laughs> yeah, we've passed several people on the trail, and several people whose property it is that, yeah. that we're walking through, and everybody's great. Everybody's friendly, yeah. yeah. It's really nice. Oh my gosh, you have to be careful of the horses and the wildlife. <laughs> wildlife. <laughs> I don't know that you have to be careful of them. They're just there. Well, I'm like <laughs> not horse savvy. One of us is being very savvy. careful of the wildlife. <laughs> right you are, Hillary. Those horses look pretty dicey. Come here, little buddy. Stay back, crazy lady. She wasn't kidding about the gates. Okay, so we are here in the lower slaughter. We just arrived, went through some fabulous, beautiful fields all throughout the Cotswolds. Um, I feel like I've seen so much of the English countryside and I cannot get enough. Um, right now we found this charming little church. We also met some friends along the way and their dog Toby. And so it was really fun to kind of get to meet people and honestly to be able to stay on path with somebody else was a lot of fun. Also made our way through several pastures including some with some really big cows really big cows someone was afraid of the cows I was a little afraid of the cows the people we met were afraid of the cows I was trying to be brave for them my grandpa had cows so okay. I don't really know how to handle them brilliant very reassuring Jamin was like extra brave for all of us. He was the only guy there like taking us around. But um, these cows were huge and you could hear them breathing behind you. More of those wild stallions. 
we're on the footpath between uh, Upper and Lower Slaughter, and uh, there's actually uh, quite a bit of traffic on it, which makes it kind of nice. There's people around, it makes it feel a little safer and more familiar. Unless you're afraid of the wildlife, that is. Well, you know what they say. There are no kingdoms without rulers. Are you ready for change? So we are now in Upper Slaughter, and I have to say, this has been a really good addition. It was not part of our journey at first, and we decided, just decided to add it to the trip, and it's been well worth it. Upper and Lower Slaughter, beautiful. Well, you know what they say, there are no kingdoms without rulers. the Cotswolds is so cool is because at the time of its peak uh, wool was one of the biggest industries in the world and as you can see there's sheep everywhere out here it's a perfect place for them and so the people were able to build these huge sheep farms and harvest the wool and make lots and lots of money so they could build great churches and houses and because they never got too big they've been really well preserved so this is a really cool thing about the Cotswolds. Ah, another fun fact from Jamin. These are all so different, and even how you open every gate is just totally different. It's really interesting. There's a lot of mud. These are not paved roads. These are literally pastures and fields. So if you have room in your bag, which we did not, if you have room for boots or galoshes or rain boots, they would be perfect for going on a hike in the Cotswolds. This next segment brought to you by Hillary in lieu of being sponsored by North Face because North Face doesn't know they exist. I have to tell you guys about some of the favorite things that I've been wearing while in England. This is around mid-April, and one of my favorite things is this North, North Face jacket, because it's amazing. Um, it's very waterproof, not necessarily just um, water resistant. And um, it's got a hood. I can roll the hood up and tuck it in, which I love. I need the hood all the time. It's really, really good at keeping me dry. And it's also pretty thin. So I can wear it in a lot of different um, environments. And I also layer it with a puffy jacket whenever it gets really cold, because it does. <laughs> my other favorite things are these E-tip uh, gloves. They're just the right thickness, um, so they have been amazing. I can use my cell phone while I'm using them. They're not too puffy and too thick, so they've been perfect, and I literally talk about these, I don't know, Jamin, what would you say, like three times a day? I mentioned how much I love these gloves, so. Maybe like three times a morning. Three times a morning. <laughs> So we are here now at the end of our hike and we're at Burton on the Water and it is so cute. I know I keep saying that. Yeah, we uh, picked up on that, mate. But this place has a river running through it, lots of little um, canal bridges and lots of little shops. You can see it is packed with people and everyone's just out enjoying the nice weather. Jamin, tell us how many miles we got in today on our hike. So we went from Stone the Wold to Upper Slaughter, Lower Slaughter, and now we're in Burton on the water. <laughs> so we have gone uh, 8.3 miles today. That's a long ways. Yeah. Especially because we good. thought we were going to go four. <laughs> Right? Well, yeah, it was like four and a half, but then we added in. Yes. We added in upper slaughter. Yeah. And it took the long way a few times. So. Yeah. What? That was yeah. fun. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah, it's been great. Definitely yeah. recommend it. Yeah, huge recommend. Like, I thought we would really like it. I was looking forward to it, but it's been awesome. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, and now we're just sitting here, enjoying a drink, watching people along the river, and it's been lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Charmed. Couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah. What is it you can feel running down your I can feel poo. Oh no, there's a drop of luck for you. Just in time to hop the bus home. 
Appreciate you liking and subscribing here. Don't forget to catch the podcast episode for the full scoop. Next stop, York, England. What am I, what, wait, so what's the point? Just kind of wrap it up?